We had some things we were looking for in launch attempt one that were combined with what we expected to do in a wet dress. And, uh, and so we had some sensors that didn't tell us what we thought we would do, and we did the right thing by standing down with that uncertainty on Monday. But we have uh, confirmed that we did have good flow through those engines. We know we can chill those engines. Uh, we're ready to proceed that way to launch. Uh, you know, the SLS team does a lot of other things, and as Mike mentioned, we brought some other things. We in inspect the vehicle. We brought the uh, the concerns we had over any TPS, uh, as minimal as they are forward, and uh, we've analyzed, and the teams are uh, ready to support uh, launch attempts on uh, Saturday. So we've made a couple of changes to the countdown. Uh, our teams have been very busy uh, in firing room three, uh, running against the model. We finished up two days of, uh, of that testing to make sure that we had our procedures all down and ready to go. It didn't require any software changes. It was just the procedures that we go through, but we also wanna make sure that we have those um, ready to go. And, um, Everything right now is on track. We have remained in launch countdown. I know some folks think that, you know, launch countdown, it starts two days prior. Sometimes when we're in a scrub, we, uh, we stay in launch countdown. Um, yes, we do think we have, we, we know we had a bad sensor. Um, but that was our challenge. Um, early in the week where we could not make the physics of the system line up to what we were seeing with that one sensor. Um, and so since then, we've had time to go back and look at, look at the data um, and, and compare many sources of data and do some independent uh, analysis that confirmed it's a bad sensor and we're getting good quality propellant through the engine. But the sensor was bad, and uh, in this case, uh, what we're protecting against is a bearing uh, skidding on startup and causing excessive wear.